Excitement in the kitchen. Say, let's see the excitement. All right. Just you come along with me and I'll show it to you. Hello, I'm Jonathan, otherwise known as Senor Smoke, here at Curto's in Westchester County. And uh, tonight, I welcome you to one of my smoke sessions or fireside chats. We're outside the environs of Curto's. We're here at La Casa de Smoke, hanging out here in front of the Kamado Joe while he smokes away and gets ready for Din Din tonight. The James Gang Live 1971 playing in the background was there ever a more underrated hard rock band in the James Gang? Hail Joe Walsh. Um, Tonight, I was really inspired to jump on, make a quick video, because I got a phone call at work today from somebody in Jersey talking to me about grills, smoking devices, and the bottom line was, he started saying, hey, Memphis Grill or Kamado. This guy actually came from a high level of smoke awareness. He's actually owned a Big Green Egg for numerous years. Um, he has acknowledged and accepted its limitations and um, he's thinking about either moving to a Joe, staying in the ceramic uh, paradigm, or going to a potentially to a pellet grill. And uh, while he was considering the Timberline, is now considering heavily the uh, Memphis. So he said to me, you know, Jonathan, I'm a guy who likes to work with fire. And the whole notion of sitting in front of the Memphis and just dialing a temperature and letting it go doesn't really appeal to me. And what I said to him was, you are completely in the minority. Um, I mean, I kind of feel where he's coming from and I can definitely um, acknowledge and appreciate what it's like to work one of these or a stick burner where we are taken back to our primal, primal nature and uh, you're working with fire. You're working with that beautiful lump charcoal, the wood, the smell, the heat, it's intoxicating. The pellet grill, um, you know, it's looked down upon by people in the competition circuit because they say it's basically an outdoor oven. Um, listen, the ease of use of the pellet grill is incredibly, incredibly alluring, and that's actually driving the amount of volume that they're selling right now, which actually they're like the highest um, growth category right now with outdoor grills. To be able to sit there and just dial in your 225, your 275, whatever it is, and then set it and forget it, it's incredibly, incredibly appealing to many, many, many people. Not all of us can sit around all day and uh, drink bourbon and watch the fire. Um, the Joe, you can kind of set that as well. There are some devices now that you can use with your ceramic barbecue. The, um, the Barbecue Guru, for example, it's been out for years, um, which leaves that kind of set it and forget it uh, thing and brings it over to the ceramic world. Um, but, uh, you know, what would I do? A ceramic a Kamado versus the Memphis? So, I mean, where would I go between these? I mean, they're both phenomenal. Um, I, I do prefer using the live fire um, and working the wood and charcoal like you can do with the Joe. The Joe also has incredible, incredible accessories and cooking different cooking surfaces that the Memphis does not have. Uh, tonight, for example, I'm gonna be using the grill accessory, which is right here. And we're going to use this to make completely kick-ass hamburgers because, folks, the simple truth of the matter is hamburgers come out best when they're made on a griddle and that's a whole nother blog post that I did. Um, you can cook on a soapstone, you can cook on a, uh, uh, there's a stainless uh, top as well. I mean, so the Kamado Joe brings the flexibility and the versatility. You know, the Memphis has got its direct flame insert and its indirect insert and that's about it and there isn't as, uh, as much room on the Memphis uh, headroom wise like there is on this. But I can understand and I appreciate the ease of use with the Memphis, thermostatically controlled, dial it in and you're done. And I think there, that is far more appealing to more people than having to babysit the ceramic grill, whether it's a Joe, a Primo, um, or an egg. So what do I say? I say buy them both. No, I mean, it's really, you could break it down. I mean, listen, the Kamado Joe is far less expensive than a Memphis. Um, you know, we're talking like 11, 12, 99 for a classic Joe. The Memphis Pro is $39.99 or $38.99. The Elite closer to $5,000. So um, what I would say is you got to just say to yourself, 
do you want to work it or do you want to just basically dial in your temp and just say bye bye and let that drive the decision because the food's still going to come out phenomenal on both of them i i am you know i i do love that charcoal taste that you're going to get with the joe or a ceramic cooker i am partial to that but um if you have any questions and there probably are plenty of them after watching this video jonathanacurtos.com come call or visit the showroom please talk to you later thank you